how to convert a disk from MBR to GPT or GPT to MBR. Same steps will apply here. So we can convert to GPT. Obviously we can't right now. This is the disk I want to convert to GPT. But first, before we start, we need to get to disk management. So how do you do that? Well, a few ways you can do it. We can come down here to start and just type in disk management. And you can see create and format hard disk partitions. You can open that up. That will take you right where you need to go. Or what you can do is type in uh, computer management and you can go right to computer management or we can go to control panel. All right, I actually have it pinned, but you can just type in control panel. I'll just go for my pin right here, control panel. If you're not seeing large icons, just come up here and change it from category to large icons. Go to administrative tools, single click that, come here to computer management, double click that. That opens up our computer management. Come here to disk management, single click that. Once you are in disk management, we can see all of our disks right here. And the drive I want to change from uh, MBR to GPT is this one right here. We can always confirm what the disk currently is by right clicking over here where it says disk five, disk four, so on and so forth. Right click, properties, volumes, and we can see this is currently MBR, okay? You can also right click and see it says convert to GPT. That of course means it's currently MBR. Same thing for this one. Right click here, it says convert to MBR. That means that this disk is already GPT. So it just shows the opposite in that menu. But of course I right click here and go to convert to GPT. I can't, uh, it's grayed out because there's actually something on this volume. So what I want to do is select this volume. I'll just select that volume over here. I'll right click and I'll delete the volume. Now, before you do this, back up everything because once we delete the volume, that deletes all data on that disk. So I've already backed up all the data from this disk onto other hard drives. So I'm fine, I can go ahead and delete this volume. I won't lose anything. I can always pull everything back once we're done. But you can see there is still data on this disk. I could delete it. There's no reason to because we're going to format the disk anyway. So there's really no need to actually delete the data off the disk, but make sure you back it up because you will lose absolutely everything, all right? After you have moved all the data off the disk or backed it up somewhere, come back here to disk management, find the disk you want to switch over to GPT in our case or MBR. Same thing, same process. We're going to right click this uh, volume and we want to delete the volume. As soon as I delete this volume, you can see it's going to erase all data, which as I've already said, so we've already backed it up, we're fine. We'll hit yes. And you might get this pop up here. The partition of simple volume is currently in use. That's fine, we know that because it's loaded up here. That's fine, we'll hit yes to force it. And now it's unallocated. Once it's unallocated, come back here to the side where it says disk five, disk four, disk six, so on and so forth right here, right click. And now we can see it says convert to GPT and it's actually in, in, in black. So we can actually choose that. So that's, that's all there is to it. Right click, convert to GPT disk. And guess what? Now it's been converted to GPT. Right click here. We can see it says convert to MBR. So if you want to convert to MBR, you do the same thing, convert to MBR. We can see down here in properties and in volumes. Now this partition style is GPT, which is exactly what we want and what I would suggest uh, you know, that you do for all of your disks on any modern uh, operating system. All right. So now in order to actually use this volume, we have to format it, right? We already know how to do that. I already have videos on that. Let's go ahead and right click here. New simple volume. Next. This is fine. I want to use the whole disk. Next. Assign the letter. I want G. Uh, next. Here, do not format. We want to format this volume. We want NTFS. Defaults are always fine. Volume label. This is my book. And then we have perform quick format. Because this disk has already been formatted, I'm going to perform a quick format. If your disk has never been formatted, you may not want to do that. You may want to perform a full format so it checks every single sector. Uh, in reality, most people are going to be fine just doing the quick format. Of course, if it's an SSD, you want to do the quick format. You know, if I have a new disk, personally, I like to do a full, you know, a full format, but that's only if it's a hard drive and not a, a solid state drive. But in this case, since this disk has been formatted before, I know all the sectors are fine. Perform quick format and leave this unchecked. Enable file and folder compression. More than likely, you don't want that on. You can always change it later on if you want. Next, and that's all there is to it. Quick format will take a matter of seconds. Uh, full format will take hours on something, especially this size here. So there we go. Guess what? We're all set up and ready to go with our new GPT disk. Again, right click, properties, uh, volumes, GPT disk. Awesome come up here and right there, here's our new disc or 
in our case, our old disk, but it's all ready to go. We can move all of that data back to our brand new GPT disk.